I've got a confession to make. I hate going to the restaurant. I just, do I go to the restaurants? Yes, I do. Because my husband likes to go to restaurants, but I hate it. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you are very welcome. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the post notification button so that each time we upload a brand new video, you are notified. What I want you to do is by show of maybe an emoji, like a, you know, a hand sign, a, just anything, anything, even a letter, I, just tell me who here hates going to restaurants. Please don't be shy. Go ahead and show me in the comment section. Tell me, like, do you hate going to restaurants or you're just comfortable going to the restaurant? That's not me. And please do understand that it's not the fear of eating a pork, like me being an African child. Yeah, no, if you're thinking I, I'm scared to go to the restaurant or oh, I hate going to the restaurant because I am just so used to eating with my hands at home and no, it's not like that. I can, you know, do the knife and fork kind of thing, but I just hate going to restaurants and there's a reason for that. Now that you've opened up to me, let's get into the reason why I am so terrified. I just hate going to restaurants like you at some point say in my 20s i was one of those girls that i just loved going to restaurants you know after all who doesn't like to take that day off from cooking right yeah that was me i was that girl that just you know would just love to take some time off from cooking and each time i was told that okay today we are eating at the restaurant i was the first one i was so excited but this day was you know just turned everything upside down for me and uh it's been a while since this incident that i'm going to share with you happened i still haven't gotten over that fear and i still carry it in my heart okay so let's get into the story so this one day the guy that I was seeing at the time said, uh, you know, he wanted to go eat at the restaurant. So I was like, oh, okay, yeah, let's do it. And when I asked him what kind of food he wanted, he said, oh, but you know, there's this Italian restaurant. It's a, it's a beautiful restaurant. So we haven't been there. So let's go there. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm up for it. We got to this restaurant, we were seated, it was a beautiful restaurant, and that day, I think it was a Friday or something, Friday or Saturday, some, you know, like a weekend. So there was a lot of people, like it was packed, it was, because like in my town that I lived, like, you know, there was like uh, enough people with, uh, you know, with money that could afford, you know, that restaurant, right? So we we are fortunate we did find a table we were seated and then we ordered the drinks so we were waiting and we actually even got to a point where we looked at the menu we selected whatever we wanted to eat that day and then we ordered and as the people were preparing the food in the kitchen i just heard the commotion a lot of people did not notice or maybe they just didn't pay attention but me being that you know i'm very i'm very cautious by the way and i'm very uh like when i see something going on or i hear something going on i always you know look up like to see what's going on like you know that's that's me by nature i am that person that is always alert to whatever like the surrounding so i suddenly got up i didn't even say anything to the people that i was seated with i just got up and uh because i heard this commotion from outside right and then i by the time i got up then someone entered like two guys entered from 
there was two doors one that was coming from outside into the kitchen and into the restaurant and then there was one door from outside into the restaurant so there was like on each side there was um you know there was some doors some entrance so on this side there was an entrance this side there was an entrance and so these guys are well i guess they planned it because they entered almost at the same time with big guns with big pupils oh my goodness now let me tell you a little bit of a history with me and the pupils i have always hated pupils the pupils just give me post-traumatic stress like suddenly just like in that moment just give me that pst whatever whatever they call it i hope i got it right but anyways you know what i'm talking about yeah so when i see a pew pew that's me like suddenly i just go like yeah like i i, I don't know this feeling that i got i get it's just some stress that i cannot even explain right now okay so we are seated in the restaurant and this person enters these two people two men enter into the restaurant with the pew pews yeah oh my goodness i just remember that day like this is something that happened like yesterday because these people were not letting up they were uh, all, all over the place and i just bought a purse and then that day i actually collected some money for my mother my mom was doing cross-border uh cross-border business where like uh, she would go you know either tanzania or south africa or zimbabwe to get some stuff and then she comes back and she sells them in zambia so i was being a good child that i am <laughs> so being a good child that i am i would help my mother to sell like at this time i was actually working and then i would take some of the stuff that she was selling and then i would sell at my work this day i collected it was actually a month end i collected the money that i had uh, you know sold some stuff for my mother and it was in my purse and i had just bought that purse like not too long you know before that i just bought that purse and uh, i love that purse these bandits came table to table and they said whatever you do do not ever look at us you look at us you're dead you are so we were just like they got my they grabbed my purse i think that's a that's a thing that they were you know even using like to you know to stuff some money so they went from table to table uh they got the money from you know, from every person that was on the table like in total it was eight guys i, I think it was like six or seven or eight guys that came that day into that restaurant so only two of them had pupils they entered one with the pupil with four uh, three or four guys behind one with a pew pew three or four guys behind and then they all came in the restaurant and then they also started demanding for the owner of the restaurant because now they wanted to get more i don't know what they wanted to do with her but they you know they asked for the owner of the restaurant at that time i <laughs> i knew the owner of the restaurant but it was nice because nobody they, and they were right in the in the restaurant but no, no one ever stood up and pointed that oh it's that one that owns the restaurant because obviously we we did that to protect her and i think that that you know that was a noble thing to do because they were gonna get away with the money anyways yeah so after you know well, we called the police and 
uh, yeah but it took them like some time for you know to get to the restaurant and so we were just there like i was so stressed i have never cried so hard i cried i know like people were holding me and hugging me and everything but i just couldn't control myself like i cried so much uncontrollably it was like and then from that night i hate going to the restaurant and just to step into the restaurant it took me some time to step into the restaurant because that just just didn't leave me up to now it hasn't left me like even if i go to the restaurant i look at every person in the restaurant to see if they're giving off like okay i got a pew pew yeah that kind of thing you see what i mean yeah so i just don't feel comfortable going to restaurants so that's that's my story so what what is your story if you have commented in the comment section that you don't feel comfortable going in the restaurant that is your story behind the ability of going into the restaurant i told you my story i want you to i want to hear from you like is there any interesting story behind your uncomfortability of you going in the restaurant i just opened up <laughs> yeah i'm laughing now but i wasn't laughing that night trust me like even up to now like i can only laugh but deep down in my heart is like i just i just get uncomfortable each time like someone mentions the restaurant that let's go to the restaurant